Do you need a fast computer for cybersecurity pen testing? A very common question here today that we're going to address and we're going to really break this down because a lot of people want to get into cybersecurity, but one of their biggest concerns is, you know, can I actually get into this? Do I have the equipment that I need to get into this? Now, the thing about cybersecurity, the thing about pen testing, right? The thing about technology in general is there's always new technology that's emerging. There's always more to learn. There's always more that is coming into the picture. Now, while that might make things a little overwhelming, especially if you're a newcomer to the space, that also comes with the added benefit that the answer to this question is now different than it was before. You know, if you were to ask me this, let's say 10, 15 years ago, I would say absolutely, you need a fairly decent computer in order to get in the space. If you have like a really slow laptop, you know, that's going to be a big hindrance to you for many reasons, right? There's a lot of tools that we need to run. Virtualization is huge, like running VMs, right? All the time on this channel, I'm a big advocate of creating your own lab environment, practicing in there it could be a great training ground. But even if you are just going to do the third-party sites, things like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, all of that, you definitely want a VM that you can work with. And of course, with that comes the fact that you're virtualizing another operating system on your within your operating system, right? So that's going to naturally require a decent amount of resources. Now, there is one X factor, one game changer that now the answer to this question, if you were to ask me today, I would say, no, you don't need a super fast computer to do any kind of virtualization. Now, before I get into that, let me say that if you do have a fast computer, even more power to you, there's even more that you can do. So if you can afford one, I would definitely recommend to have a fast computer. And if you're really serious about getting into pen testing, I would view it as an investment, an investment in your learning, an investment in yourself to get a pretty decent system that can run this stuff really fast and efficiently. And along the way, while you are leveling up and while you are learning this stuff, eventually you're going to be ready to start applying to jobs as well. And you're going to want to arm yourself with the top 10 pen testing interview questions that you need to know. So you can get that absolutely for free down in the description section below. But Back to the topic at hand here, how can you manage if you have a slow computer in this space? Well, the technology that I'm talking about here is that of the cloud. And the cloud is very powerful, right? I mean, all the time, even if you are not a super techie person, chances are you hear all the buzzwords, right? Cloud computing and this and that. Maybe you even heard of the term EC2 instance, things like that. Well, of course, AWS is the biggest cloud provider. You can use their services for pen testing, but you don't have to use them. You can also use something like Linode or DigitalOcean. These smaller platforms, a little bit more cost-friendly, I would say. If cost is a real big issue for you, then you could definitely manage with some of the smaller cloud providers like DigitalOcean and Linode, which they're still pretty big, let's be honest. But the thing about those is you do have a little bit less flexibility and control, but I think for 95% of people, you know, what you're able to do on those will be more than enough. So you can spin up a test environment on Linode or DigitalOcean and you're going to be completely good to go. Or you could use AWS or Azure or whatever you prefer. The nice thing about cloud computing is that you could spin up that server, use those resources for pen testing, and when you're done, you just wipe it away. You know, you just terminate it, you delete it. And you're only charged for the time that you spend actually using the server. So it's really efficient. You only pay for what you use as long as you uh, wipe the server afterwards, you terminate it. So that could be a great option. Now, the nice thing, if you do go with AWS, and, and by the way, let me just say, I'm not sponsored by any of these platforms. This is just from one pen tester to another, giving you guys some suggestions on what you can do. But the nice thing is if you do go with AWS, they have an actual Kali Linux image or AMI as they call it, Amazon uh, image or something like that, right? So you can actually, it's super simple in AWS to get Kali up and running. All you have to do is 
go and you, know, you go into the EC2 section, launch instance, and you just browse their AMI marketplace and you just type Kali and you can find a Kali Linux pre-built virtual machine. It's pretty much the exact same as you would find if you installed it from Kali.org. And going even further than that, you can set it up with GUI access and stuff as well. You can use something like um, X11 forwarding to, uh, to get a full GUI interface and you can go in and just use it like a regular virtual machine. Or you could just stick to SSH access for some quick handy to man, uh, command line stuff. So you could pretty much have the exact same thing as you would have through virtualization, but out there on the cloud. And because it's running on Amazon's infrastructure or DigitalOcean's or Linode's, and it's not running on your local machine, what that means is it doesn't matter if your computer is slow or not, you have access to as many resources as you're willing to pay for, right? And even with a free or pretty cheap tier, you could get a pretty decent system that can do most of the stuff you're trying to do. The nice thing about pen testing is, aside from the virtualization part, there's not anything that we do typically, maybe password cracking would be another one that would be pretty resource intensive. But for the most part, most of the stuff that we do is not super resource intensive. So you're able to get away with fairly low uh, resources allocated to these cloud instances and you'll be just fine. So let me know if that got you thinking about anything down in the comment section below. Definitely if you're in a, one of those tricky situations where you know you want to upgrade your computer, it's super slow, but at the same time, you want to be able to keep moving forward learning pen testing. I think this would be the ideal solution for you. And even if you do have a decent computer, maybe you just want to check this stuff out because let's face it, the cloud stuff is pretty cool, right? Go ahead and, uh, and, and get into that for sure. And if you want to get into some more technical content as well, I have that on the screen for you right now. I'll see you guys right over in those videos. Thanks for watching.